In this specific video, you're going to learn how to give your WordPress site a tune-up. This is very similar to giving your computer a tune-up. For example, let's say you buy a computer as an analogy and it becomes very cluttered, disorganized. It begins to run slower and could have problems that you just don't know about. And with WordPress, it's very similar. You start adding lots of posts, lots of pictures, lots of plugins, and spam comments begin to build up. You get a 404 error pages that you have no knowledge exists and much more. And things begin to run slower. So now you get the idea. Let me walk you through the process step by step in order to give your WordPress site a tune-up. The first thing you want to do is to simply log in to your WordPress administrator dashboard. And right now I am logged in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the most recent version of WordPress. Now, even if you update, maybe a few days later you'll have another update. So in this case, you probably want to update as much as possible every time you log in. And updating WordPress is not hard at all. All I need to do is simply click on please update now. And of course, before you do this, you may want to back up your files. And I will show you in a little more detail later on how to back up files and restore them and so forth. So go ahead and click on update now. Enter your FTP username and password. Click on proceed. And with a few seconds, as you can see, it has upgraded to the latest version of WordPress. The second thing you'll want to do is to make sure that you update your plugins. So we're going to go to the plugins section, which is right under the appearance section and click on installed plugins. In this example, I don't have a lot of plugins. However, as you begin to get a hang of WordPress, you will begin to add lots of plugins because you'll find plugins that are really cool that you can use and so forth. But the problem is a lot of times is that most people start downloading plugins and they become addicted to adding more and more plugins that they just don't need. But this point in time when you're doing the tune up, you need to look at the list of plugins here and think to yourself, do I really need this plugin or this plugin is activated, but I don't really need this plugin and so forth. If you don't really need that plugin right now, but you might need it later on, you can always deactivate it and activate it later. But once you delete it, then it's done. So in this case, I'm going to deactivate this plugin. The reason why you want to deactivate as many plugins as possible is because every time somebody loads your page, then imagine, just like a computer, all these programs are running in the background. So you want to make sure that you deactivate or remove the plugins that you don't need. Now, you need to be aware that if you update your theme, then you will lose the configurations of that theme. So if you made a lot of configurations, you may want to think twice about updating your site. However, if you did not make a lot of configurations, then you can update the theme. And sometimes when you update the theme, it'll make it faster. The author will have added certain things to increase the loading speed and so forth. And of course, to update the theme, if there is an update, you will notice a link at the bottom of each theme that says there is a new version of blank theme of a certain theme. View this version details or update now. So you can view the version details and see if it will speed up your site. If it's just a bunch of added options and it, you don't really need it, then you don't need to update that theme. The fourth thing you'll want to do is to delete your spam comments or the comments that you don't need. 
And to do that, it's very easy to do. You could either delete your spam comments one by one by one. However, that does take a lot of time. In this case, I would recommend that you log into your web hosting panel. In this case, I'm using cPanel. And if you're using any other web hosting panels, you, what you want to do is to locate the area where you can update the database. So in this case, it's called PHP My Admin. So go ahead and go to your cPanel, enter your username and password, click on Login. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice an icon that says PHP My Admin. If you click on that icon, you'll be forwarded to PHP My Admin, which is a tool that allows you to edit the databases. So of course you're going to need to remember which database belongs to the specific WordPress site. In this example, we're using underscore funny t-shirts number two. The next, click on the SQL tab. Then what you want to do is run a query. Now don't freak out when you see this. All you need to do is follow me step by step. All you need to do is simply copy what you see right here. Everything can be lowercase. So what you can type in is this. Delete space from space WP underscore comments space where space comment underscore approved space equals space single quote zero single quote. If you can copy this, and feel free to pause this video right now if you need to, but if you copy this, this will basically delete all of the comments that are spam related comments. However, if you are using a plugin like Akismet to block spam, then between these single quotes, you'll want to enter the keyword spam. Now, obviously, before you do any of this, you will need to go to your dashboard and make sure that you go through and approve comments that you want approved. And for the rest of this stuff, you can simply go to PHP My Admin and do exactly what I showed you right now. The last thing you'll want to do in this tune-up is to check for 404 error pages. And what those are is basically, let's say you set up a post and later down the road, you decide to delete that post. Now, even though you delete that post, if Google were to come to your site and index that specific post, and somebody is looking for that post, they're going to get a 404 error page. Now, in order to check that, you're going to need to either look at your statistics and see what kind of 404 pages you're getting in your stats, or you can also install a broken link checker plugin. So if we go back to WordPress here and we go to the plugins section, and click on add new. If you go to the search box and type in broken link checker, click on search plugins, and at the very top you'll see the plugin here. As you can see here, it says this plugin will monitor your blog looking for broken links and let you know if they are found. So that's a very, very good feature because you definitely want to know which links are broken in your posts, your pages, and so forth so that you can fix them. Otherwise, your reader is going to come to your site, see a 404 page, not get what they want, and they're going to go away frustrated. So if you install the broken link checker, we'll click OK, we'll enter the FTP username and password. We'll click on proceed, click on activate, and the configuration settings are located under the settings tab. If you click on link checker, 
you'll be able to customize the options here. It says you can check each link every 72 hours and you get notified by email. Or if you check this box, you can also send specific authors email notifications about broken links in their posts. You can also do link tweaks. You can apply custom formatting to broken links. You can apply custom formatting to remove links. And you can also stop search engines from following broken links. So we're going to go ahead and click on Save Changes. And at the very top here, there's some more configuration settings. It also will look for links in these different options here. But in this case, we're going to leave everything by default and we're going to leave it as is. And what happens is if the broken link checker plugin finds any broken links, it'll notify you at your main dashboard. So as you can see here, as I scroll down, you can see the broken link checker box. And anytime you see that, you will see something here. So currently I have nine unique URLs and nine links, but I don't have any broken links right now. And this will notify you when you do have it so that you can take the appropriate action. Now in terms of 404 pages and so forth, I'm going to show you how to create a custom 404 page so that you can still utilize that traffic or the people that come to that 404 error page. And I'll show you how to do that in a future video. So that's how to give your WordPress site a tune-up.